Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Journal. Today is Monday, January 29th in Sanibel, Florida. I have been spending time with a treasure trove of letters that my sister uh, shipped to me down here in Florida from Concord. And they are letters around the time I was born, 1950, 1951. And that was a, a big time for my parents because I think two days after I was born in 1950, August 30th, uh, President Truman sent my dad a telegram saying, your service is required as part of the Navy Reserve. And so he spent, uh, I think it might have been two, three years on a ship in the Mediterranean, not in Korea, uh, getting ready for whatever might happen as if the war had spread in some way. So these letters are fascinating to me because they, it's just uh, eerie or it's the, there's some kind of a, uh, a strong emotional reaction I have to reading some of these letters. And uh, I thought I would just share a couple of quotes from them. Uh, they're, they're bound and there's just they're, they're a huge box of them here. But I'm, so I'm picking them out at random and reading them very carefully and then writing some post-it notes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with all this other than I'm going to plan a trip sometime this year, which will be Darlene's and my 40th anniversary, to try to replicate the itinerary of Dad on the USS Macon uh, in the Mediterranean. I know he stopped at Gibraltar, Naples, Italy, and Nice, and I, I hope in these letters to find some of the other places. But also, there's just so much information here about my parents that I, I didn't know. When I was born, Dad lived in Rochester, New York with Mom, and uh, he worked at Kodak. He'd just gotten out of uh, MIT, and he had a good job working for Kodak. They had one apartment, and then they moved to a bigger apartment when Mom got pregnant with me. And in this letter, which he sent to uh, his folks in uh, Massachusetts, <laughs> the address is simply Mr. and Mrs. Stuart Edgerly, Maynard, Massachusetts, no street address. I mean, it was easy to get mail to them. Uh, and one, one aspect of it, he's, he's talking about the new apartment. He actually draws a diagram of it. And he says, the bedroom and back porch are perfect for a baby. So at that point, they don't even know if it's a boy or a girl and they're getting ready for my arrival and they have a place that's gonna be perfect for me uh, as a baby. Um, and then there are, let's see. Well, here's one, he's, uh, and the, the handwriting is so much better than my dad ever had in later years. Uh, but this, this nice uh, stationery, USS Macon CA-132. It was a destroyer of some kind. This was in uh, May 1st of 1951, after I was born. Hello, sweetheart. This is to mom. We're off to the big adventure. This might prove to be quite interesting, closest to the real thing of anything we've done yet. They had been getting the ship out of mothballs. We're heading toward Bermuda now. I gather we're going to rendezvous with other ships there, then commence some kind of shenanigans. The ship is darkened and all trash has been dumped so as not to leave any trail after this. Well, that's pretty exciting, you know, uh, steaming toward Bermuda and, and making sure that you don't leave a trail, trail of trash. Uh, my dad, there's a photo of him, and uh, let's, I'm not sure I can make that focused here for the video, but a young man in his 20s, a new father heading off to serve his country in the Navy. Uh, there's another one from my mother's mother uh, after I'm born, and this is while dad is away. Uh, and it, she writes in part, it won't be long now before you'll be back in Sudbury. That's where uh, her parents and dad's parents lived. And January will not be too far away. So it must be January of 52 he was going to be back. Then raise the flag. Bill will be back for good. Take care, love, mother. Uh, and then in another letter, uh, in approaching my first birthday. What do you want me to get Lenny for his birthday? If you have nothing in mind, it can always be money which you can bank for him. Please advise. Well, that's prescient because dad went on to be the CEO of a bank. Real treasures, people who wrote letters and kept them. God bless them. It's such a treat for the future. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening and watching.